Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. Gonna bring you another unboxing. I know I've probably been flooding you with them lately, but I came across something that I hope is gonna work for me. If you've been following along uh, for a while, I picked up the uh, Mac Mini M1 uh, about a month or two ago, and I've been using that. Before that, I had the developer's kit, which was kind of iffy here and there, but uh, I'll bring you an update on the new M1 that I picked up. But I also picked up a little accessory for it. Uh, I've been hearing it's a very good option as an accessory for it, and that is the USB-C hub for the Mac Mini. This one I picked up uh, through Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. But it also has a uh, hard drive enclosure, so you don't have to uh, use up one of the ports for your external hard drive or something like that. You can just put a hard drive inside this little guy. But let's go ahead, open it up, and check it out. Now on this guy, I wasn't sure uh, who I wanted to go. There's a few manufacturers out there. When I went through the reviews, it, there's always a mix of it, but if there's reviews of four star and five star that are at least 70%, 75% and up, uh, I'll give it a try. I mean, this is something I've been wanting for my Mac Mini, so I thought it would be a good thing to try out. So let's go ahead, open this guy out see what we got. Just drop it out of the box. This one here is by a company named Evolve. So I got that there. It's got a nice form factor to it, very similar to the iMac Mini that I'm going to be putting it under. And it's got the ports in the front, which I'll go over in a second. And down below, or underneath I should say, it's got the release panel where you can put your uh, USB. It's got the release panel down below where you can put your hard drive in there. So let's put that on temporarily. Get them all padded up. And let's see what else we got in this box here. Little directions, quick start guide, little pamphlet there. You got the USB-C cable uh, to USB-A and it looks like it's got an adapter on it too which puts it into USB-C to USB-C, I believe. Yep, so you got USB-C to USB-C, and if you need to, you can also have the little adapter for the one end that gives you USB-A, USB so that's available. You got a little screwdriver in here, and some several screws, because on the back bottom of it, with the hard drive enclosure, the flap is uh, got the four holes for the screws. They didn't put them in when they shipped it, which makes it nice and convenient when you're first working with it. Let's see what else is in this guy. See if I can do it without uh, getting it thrown all over the place. So you got what it looks like some looks like they included some self adhesive pads uh, that you can use most likely for the drive itself to give it some support because there's only two so it wouldn't be enough for the bottom and the bottom already has some uh, plastic protected bumpers on the bottom there so these little bumpers are probably for the hard drive once you put it in the enclosure but uh, like I said it's a nice form factor it's got the form, you know same size and everything as the uh, Mac Mini Let's go ahead and check out this guy a little bit closer. On the back side here, you got your USB-C port for the import from your Mac Mini to this little device here to help power it up and give you a connection. On the front side here, you got your two USB-A ports, which are 2.0 speed, and you got two USB-A ports that are 3.0 speed. And then, of course, you have your SD card reader and then a micro SD card reader. So. I was hoping uh, they'd have a USB-C port in the front, or sort of like a pass-through or something. In all the variations that I've seen out there, they do not have that quite yet. Uh, so maybe in the future as USB-C becomes more uh, accepted in the industry, but it's, I mean, it's pretty gone pretty far now. I don't think it'll take much longer before they do that. And I might probably try to play with it later on and see if I can do my own uh, USB-C to USB-C pass-through on it. But, Let's go ahead, throw it under my Mac Mini, and just see how it looks. All right, guys. So I switched over to my iPhone to give you the update as far as putting the uh, hub enclosure under my Mac Mini. 
which you can see right under there. It's sitting under my uh, Thunderbolt display that I've had from Apple from uh, the very beginning. It's actually hooked up to my MacBook Pro there, which I have sitting on the uh, CD burner still from the olden times. And then uh, that Mac Mini actually goes over to the monitor on the side. So let's go ahead, see if we can pop that under and get that connected. So I got it all powered up. It's connected, the monitor's on over here for the Mac Mini. So let's go ahead and put an SD card in. And they said, uh, I've seen in the comments and everything that you gotta insert the SD card upside down from what you typically do in inserting it. It's no big deal to me. I mean, uh, if you gotta do it that way, you gotta do it that way. But uh, as you can see, it has a nice solid click to it. It's got a little spring to it when you in enter it into there. So you do know you have a good connection, but let's go over here to my Mac mini screen here. You can see the card has shown up on the screen. It's one I use for uh, filming my YouTube videos for you guys. So it's uh, saw it right away. I'll go ahead and take that out of there. And let's uh, go ahead and pop it out. I don't use too many USB drives anymore as far as the other slots. Uh, let me see what I can find to put in there though. So I got just a regular USB drive here. Those are also in the upside down position. See if that pops up there on the screen. There you go. I got the Charlie 16 drive popping up there. And obviously he has nothing. Oh, he's got a few things on it. P90X, that's my workout I do. Office 12. So everything seems to be going pretty good. Let me go ahead and inject that out of there. And we'll go ahead and take this out. The editor's having a fit with some neighbors or whatever. But there you go, guys. It's a, a nice little addition, I think. I'm going to be working with it a little bit seeing what I can do and what it can't do. I still have to put a hard drive enclosure into it underneath. I do have something in mind, probably a Samsung Evo, uh, but I'll bring a, an update for you when I get around to that. So go ahead, check it out, guys. I'll leave the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.